All right, guys, so this is the hive I want to do the Damari slit on because it's lower to the ground than my other hives on my stand. So, with the Damari split, what we're going to do is go, we're going to go through these two brood boxes. We're going to find that queen. We're going to put that queen inside of a bottom deep by itself. I'm going to go with two frames of brood and probably a, um, a frame of pollen and resources like that. So they can actually have enough um, doom. Then from there, I'm gonna go with two honey supers on top of this. Okay, so after the two honey supers, we're gonna put a queen excluder, and then we're gonna have uh, another, the two deep right here that's gonna go on top of that. But we're gonna make sure that queen's at the bottom. So, all right, here we go. All right, guys, so what y'all don't see behind this box right here, I have a five frame nuke box. All that's for is when I do find this queen, I can stick that queen in that box so I know where she's at. I don't lose inside all the other frames, all right? So this is the first time we do the Damari split. So everything I read so far on a Damari split is that you want to do it about a month before you want your bee population to be what's the word I'm looking for I guess booming and that's pretty much where we at right now so with that being said we're going to just go through it and, and as you see the bees are a little mad at me so let's go through it and look for the queen we're looking for capped brood also not brood that has larvae inside of it so that is what we're looking for right now okay let's see what we got here. this is a drawn out frame yep so we're gonna put this inside of the box just to make room for us so we can work actually work and then we'll go from here so let's look so this is resources Okay, there's no eggs on that frame. We got resources here. Drawn out fresh nectar, which might be the sugar. Okay, so I have fresh eggs on this frame right here as we speak. There's my queen right there. So we know where the queen's at, guys. And as you can see, there's a lot of milk brood in the middle. So she is laying up this frame completely. This or there's the queen. So what we're going to do, we're just going to put this queen in this box right now. This got stung in the belly by a bee because I bent over. I kind of hurt it. All right, so we know where that queen's at. So now we can go through this frame right here. We're looking for cat brood. <laughs> All this is right here is pollen with eggs. So this, honestly, I don't think this box has any cat brood from what I see. So we'll take this box. Take it to the side. That's a blank. You're drawing that out. That's resources. So even if we fail doing this, oh, it's something I, I want to try. That's solid pile and, and resources. There's no um, no eggs in here. So we're gonna put this one. That's gonna be going in the bottom with that queen for her pollen for for them. All right. So now we're looking for a cap brood. 
This is all milk brood. We got cat brood here on this side. Alright, we got cat brood here. Let's see this side. That's all cat brood here too. Alright, so this is definitely a frame we're gonna need for the the bottom. Alright, so let me put this right here. Let me make sure y'all can see that on camera. Yep, y'all can. Okay, so we know that all most all of this stuff in here is all just drawn out frames. So I'm gonna pull like three frames out. Might do four just to be sure. If not, we we'll just stick one on the side after the fact. Alright, so we know this one right here has the cap brood on both sides. So that is going in this box right here. See if we can find another one right here. So this side right here is just capped. Same thing with this. So this is actually going to be a good one to do. All right. So with that being said, we can actually take this box off now. We're going to put that right here. And we're going to take this box and put it here. So now, we can take that frame with our queen, which should be right here. Let me make sure that queen's on this frame. And there she is. We'll put her right in the center. Come on, girls. We get out of the way. I don't want to smash y'all. We need all the bees we can for this. And I'm going to take that frame with all the bees bread and everything like that. And we're going to put this right here. All right. So that should be 10 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. So now we're going to take out the burr cone out of the way. All right. And this point right here, we're going to put a queen excluder right there so she can't come up. And where she is confined to the bottom. So she cannot come out of this box. Now we can make the space. The gap so they think they are queenless but it can't smell. So from this point you want to put two honey supers. So my bottom honey super is completely drawn out. The top one. Let me uh, go through. I might need to do some space, and I want to just be 100% sure. Where's my mom? Right there. So, yeah. So, this one is drawn out comb. That way they can come up and put resources in here or whatnot. This one right here, they started drawing it out, but it's not all the way drawn out. Okay? So, uh, so let me show you. See, look. They started drawing it out, but it's not all the way drawn out. So this is going to give them something to do also. So from that point here, now we can actually put the brood boxes back on top. Oh, first we need to put a queen excluder. I don't know why they do a queen excluder, but they do. I'm guessing if you can't make a get back to your hive on time, they make a queen cell. They, I'm guessing they won't go down. But me personally, I think an unmated queen should be able to fit through that. So I'm not exactly 100% sure why they do that. But there's no telling. All right. So that is good. Square it off. All right. So we got.
So what I'm thinking about honestly doing now is going through this box here and actually see if I can maybe find some brood or something to put in this one right here. And really and truthfully, if that's the case, I might not put another deep on top. So let's see what we got inside this box. I'm pretty sure this is brood. Yep. Fresh eggs. Resources, not really grown on this side. One more frame. I would just stick one of these in there, call it. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put it other box on top. Just because that's what it said to do. So we will stick this box here. <laughs> See what we got inside of this. So that's just a drawn out frame. That's just drawn out. And as, as y'all can tell, with this being on the ground, it's already almost head height to me. So y'all can y'all about imagine if I would do this on top of one of my hive stands, this thing would be way over my head. I, it's no way I can even work these bees if that would be the, the case, you know? So So yeah, all this pretty much is a drawn out and it got a little bit um pile inside of it so we're gonna put this back right here and that is six frames seven eight So we need one more frame to put up on top. So I don't know how, but it looks almost like I misplaced a frame, but I'll just go grab a smoke here. guys so that is how you do a the Maori split swarm method right here so we're not actually doing it for the swarming this hive probably wasn't strong enough to actually do it yet but I want to try it you know so I guess we just put the sugar back on top that way the bees can actually have some that if they need resources they got resources they can move around so in so today's sunny I'm guessing probably next Friday we're gonna come back through and we are going to go through that second box they probably gonna have queen cells and we are going to remove those queen cells as we don't want them to swarm but that is a damori which i see right there that is what it is that's a damori so recap we had the queen down here two frames of brew we got another uh frame of pollen bee thread we got a queen excluded here all right queen excluded here 
That's a drawn out super. That's almost drawn out. We got another queen excluded here for some reason. I don't know why they do that. I guess because when they make the queen sales, the queen doesn't go through. But I personally think a virgin queen can go through a queen excluder. I had, I caught swarms of virgin queens. I put the queen in a clip and she flies out of there. So I'm pretty sure she can get through that. So I'm gonna post this video. Next week we'll post another video just to go and recap on how many swarm cells, or not swarm cells, but how many mercy cells they had. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This is Eric. Y'all hit the like button or the subscribe. Thanks. Have a great day.